Hi there, this is my lock and this multi-lock is a 7-pin Garrison. It's a lock that was recently gifted to me by Beerkam Bushcraft. So I'll put a link to Tinny's channel up here in the corner and of course uh, down in the description. And there we go, it works fine. Strange thing though, if we put the red dot up, although the lock turns, it's very stiff. So I'm guessing there must be a slight twist or bend in the key. But uh, it only seems to affect one, one side of the key. Oh, we'll pop that in the vise. And we'll adjust the camera a little bit. Now, I'm going to use uh, the, the Lock Noob Multi Pick. 1.5 by 2.5 tensioner down the warding on the right hand side and I'm going to use the, the multi-pick flag oh, number 5 it is um, so I'm going to pick from the, the left hand side I'm going to go all the way to the back before I put tension on now I've got tension on I'm going to work my way forwards so click from seven, just we click on six. Five four three we felt a good click, little bit of movement. Two one's binding. Got a false set from setting one. Pin two is now bending. Uh, overset two. A so released tension. Managed to catch anything else. Uh, managed to catch it before anything else had reset. So just reset pin two. And we get the open. A little bit of counter. Uh, so let's zoom out. Now I'm still very nervous getting these dimple locks. I'm uh, still very new to them. And, uh, they always seem to have more th <laughs> more things in them than is needed. So I've got the key. I'm going to lock it up. Uh, remove that C clip. Yeah, the last one I uh, I opened up had a ball bearing in it. So for reference, there is a ball bearing that shows in the first first hole there. Standard two a spool three standard oh four is a standard. Five is a spool. Uh, six is a standard. Uh, seven is a standard. So, quite surprising that there's only uh, two spools 
Um, all the springs are the same, they look like steel springs. And so then So yeah, that's fully active that uh, that's spool in two. Um, so the only other spool is on this uh, almost zero lift, just takes a little touch, so that's not even active. So uh, in this particular multi-lock garrison, we only had one active spool. So, bit of a shame. Let's see what keepings we've got in there. Standard in one. Standard in three. And four. Five. We have a torpedo. Six. And seven. So there we go. Let's uh, take a closer look at what was inside. So two spools, only the one in chamber two was active and uh, on one torpedo pin that was very nearly a zero lift. So, I mean, that's that was quite effective. If you overset that, then, you know, it's a good overset trap, especially in a, in a, a cut that was very nearly zero lift. Just that spool above it was kind of wasted. Um, and it's the only full anti-drill chamber. But it, always a little fun little pick. I'm still quite new to dimples, so uh, it's always always nice to get a multi-lock. Some of them are a lot harder than others. And but I'd like to extend my uh, my sincere thanks again to uh, to Birka and Bushcraft for for giving me this this lock. Um, of a, a couple of other um, multi-locks but this is the first multi-lock garrison I've had so thank you very much mate uh, really enjoyable and uh, hopefully I will uh, I'm off from the end of this week I'm using up the last of my uh, my year's holidays before the end of the month use them or lose them uh, so I'll have a bit of week off and I will get that challenge lock done and then get it uh, sent on to, to somebody else thanks for watching everybody have a good one. Cheers.